Hello once again, this is your teacher Jenny and join me here, here for another discussion of area, finding the area for the normal distribution. So here we have an example, find the area for Z less than negative 1.23. So we have here the less than 1 point, negative 1.23. That means to say if we are illustrating that up here in our normal distribution, we locate first our negative 1.23. This is somewhere here. Less than would mean that the values here, the shading or the area here, the shading of the area will be going towards the left side because the values of your z which are on the left side of that z value are always lesser than that value okay so we are now shading that one to the left side now if you don't know or i mean not don't know but if you are confused on where to shade and how to shade it so you can just simply Look at the format of how it is written. If, the, if your statement is written like this, you've got your inequality symbol in there, then you just have to look at the tail of your symbol. The tail of the symbol here, which is this one, is pointing towards your left side. So that means to say that you are to shade the left side. So it's kind of telling you, hey, kindly shade me on the left side. Kindly shade that way. So that is telling you the direction of the shading of the area. So kindly make use of that one and you are safe. Okay. So how to get the area if our area is located on the tail part? So that is... That is, or that will make it confusing later on if we fuse every cases here. So this might be confusing. But again, everybody, if you are going to look for the area, all you have to do and all you have to take note is the SSS and the OSA, in which I've introduced this one on my other videos. So kindly check that out. The other videos for my finding the area. So you can check out how to do the SSS in there and how to do the OSA, when to apply the SSS and when to apply the OSA. Okay. So how do we apply those two here? Now you check out. Now this, is, this can be also good without the illustration. So meaning to say, once you see the problem, automatically you know what to do based on the SSS and the OSA in there. Now, how to do that one? Simply look at the symbol in there or the direction of the shading of your area. So based on your symbol, it is now telling you that you will be shading towards the left side. So we have that as the left, as the shading of the area. Next, you look at the Z value. Z value here is negative. Where can you locate the negative Z value? That will be on the left side of the curve. We have here left and left. They are the same, right? So we will be taking in same side, subtract. Now, same side, subtract. What to subtract? You have only one Z value in there. So if that is the case, you will be subtracting that area to your point five. Again, you will be subtracting that area to your point five. So that means to say we have point five here. We subtract the area equivalent to 1.23 on the Z table. So we have 1.2 on the column. And three as the last digit on the header. So we go down, we move across, and this is our area. So subtra subtracting that from 0.5, we have 0 0.3907. And of course, we'll be adding more zeros and borrowing. So we have this one as three. This one is nine. And this one is zero. This one is one. So we have 0 
3 as the value for your area, that can be also 10.93%. So that's it, right? So your life here will be much easier when you're looking for the area if you just keep in mind the SSS and the OSA. So go to the next example. We have here, what is P of Z less than 0 0.98? And again, when you have that um, notation, the P of Z less than 0 0.98, this would simply mean we're looking for the area of that certain area or problem. So here, we have here the symbol less than, which got the tail pointing towards the left side. So we know that based on this one without the illustration that we have here the left direction of the shading and we have 0 0.98 as your z-score. This is located on the right side of the curve. So left, right, we have opposite direction or opposite side on it so we will be following osa opposite side we add so what are we adding we only have one z value here we're adding that up to 0.5 so 0.5 plus the corresponding area for 0 0.98 locating that one on the z table we have 0 0.9 on the column and 8 on the last digit of the header so we go down and we move across and this is our area. So 0 0.3365. So we're adding that up. So we have 0 0.8365. Or that is simply 83.65%. So illustrating for the sake of an argument here. Let's try to illustrate that one. We have 0 0.98 somewhere here. And then we're shading towards the left side. Because the values on the left side of your Z, which is 0 0.98, are always less than that Z value. So again, if you try to look at that one, this makes sense that you have your area as 83.65% because it's occupying more than half of the curve. So let's the next one. Find the area to the left of negative 0.36. So this time we don't have notice symbol, but we have here the word to the left. So we are now, um, the problem here is telling us the direction of your shading right away. So we know that this is left and we have the Z value here as negative 0 0.36. And this is located on the left side. So we have left, left, that will be SSS, same side, subtract. So we are subtracting 0.5 by the area corresponding to 0 0.36. So we have 0 0.3 on a color digit on the header. So we go down and then we move across. So we have that area as 0 0.1406. So subtracting that one, we add more zeros. We borrow. This is now 10 minus 6, that's 4. 9 minus 0, that's 9. 9 minus 4, that's 5. 4 minus 1, that's 3. So we have 0 0.3594, or that is 35.94%. And illustrating that up, so we have um, negative 0 0.36 somewhere here. And our direction of the shading, according to the problem, is to the left. So we have this as 35.94%. So I hope that really is okay with you all. So remember this thing, you always have to follow SSS and OSA in solving or finding the area. So again, this is your teacher Jenny and wishing you good luck on your test for areas.